What is the best HF radio under $2,000? Didn't you already do a video on this? Yes, but that was the best HF radio under $1,000. So today we're going to talk about the best HF radio under $2,000, the next step up, and it's coming up right now. Shut up and sit down. Welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. I've been a licensed ham radio operator in Texas since 1994. I've been doing YouTube since 2015. And on this channel, we do lots of reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio and some things that are maybe not so new in amateur radio. We just talk about amateur radio, and we have a grand old time doing it. So I really appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you very much for joining me. As a follow-up to this video right here, that I did for the best HF radio under $1,000. If we must. Exactly. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to talk about four new radios today. Five. We're going to talk about five. Five new radios today. What is the best HF radio under $2,000? Okay. So some of you might have a larger budget than others. Maybe you've been a ham for a while. Maybe you've got a couple of HF radios already, and you're wondering what the next upgrade might be. We're going to take a look at that today, coming up right now. <sighs> okay, I guess. Let's do it. <laughs> that's, always, that's always fun to do. Okay, so the first one I'll tell you about, I'm going to start at the bottom and go to the top, okay? I started with the IC7300 in my last video. That radio currently retails for $10.99, but it has a $100 mail-in rebate which makes it $9.99 after you get the rebate. So, several people came along and said, well, but that shouldn't count as a $1,000 radio. Well, it should. You just have to spend $1,100 today and then wait six to eight weeks or however long it takes to get the rebate for the $100 back. So, as I said in the last video, if your budget is actually $1,000, not just almost $1,000, not like, well, I could do like eight or eight fifty, but not quite all the way up to a thousand, then this radio may not be for you. But if that, if this radio, if, if your budget is actually $1,000, okay, and you can float an extra hundred bucks for a little bit, then 1099 mail-in rebate, 999, you're not going to get a bigger, better package of a radio for this price. Okay. So I just start right there because we're going to go from 1000 all the way up to 2000 today. And this one falls into that category for those of you who may not be able to float an extra hundred bucks on top of your budget for your HF radio right now, okay, um, for the $1,000. But in the $2,000 category, it's at the bottom of the list, price-wise. Price-wise, it's at the bottom of the list. So the next one I'm going to talk about is the Yezu FT-991A. Now, a couple things about this radio. Several people came along in the last video and said, oh, well, you didn't include the 991A. And I said, correct. That video was about the best radio under $1,000, which the 991A clearly is not. At the time of this recording, the 991A is listed for $1,109.95 at rnl.com. They are out of stock during this recording, but by the time this video gets edited and posted, they might be back in stock. I searched around a couple other websites. I think DX Engineering and Gigaparts have it for about $1,150 ish. And um, like a um, couple other places may have it for like uh, eleven seventy nine somewhere in there. So it's somewhere between eleven and twelve hundred dollars. Several people commented on my last video saying, "Oh well, I got it on sale for under a thousand. And I'm like, "You know what? Great. That is great. If you find one for sale under a thousand, that's excellent, okay? But both during that recording and during today's recording, that's not the price of this radio. This price of this radio is eleven to eleven fifty, okay? So, you know, you can see right there, $100 coupon has been applied to the above price. Uh, coupon is valid through December, I'm sorry, January 31st of 2021. So, 11 95 You can still click this add to cart, even though he shows out of stock. There you go. So, you can pre-order it, and it's on back order. Uh, contact Roger at rnl.com and ask him about his current status when you're watching this video, if you're interested in that radio. So the great thing about the Yezu FT-991A is that it takes all of HF and six meters and it adds an all mode aspect for VHF, UHF, and it adds Yezu system fusion. So it's like an all-inclusive package 
that allow you to do basically everything. Well, not not really everything, but much more than your standard HF radio. Because not only do you get two meters, 144 megahertz, and four, and 70 centimeters for 40 megahertz, but those are in all mode. Some people say, well, I just, I just use HF and then I just buy a regular dual band radio to go in my car. Well, most dual band radios, VHF, UHF, or FM only. So the great thing about this radio and a couple others I've mentioned in the past is that not only does it do VHF, UHF, but it does it all mode. So if you want to do CW on two meters, this radio will do that. If you want to do single sideband on two meters or 70 centimeters for contest weekend, this radio will do that. We have a weekly two meter sideband net in Texas. It's actually many. If you go look up two uh, sidewinders on two, I think if you just Google that, Sidewinders on 2. It's a nationwide, done at different times throughout, d depending on what region you're in. It's done at about 8.30 p.m. Central Time in Texas, North Texas. And it's a two-meter net on single sideband every week. On I think it's Wednesdays. Wednesdays at 8 or 8.30 p.m. on 144. something. I don't remember. <laughs> it changes frequencies throughout. It stays down in the, the single sideband portion of the band, and it will do... It, or, or it's it's a two meter net that's on single sideband. So instead of FM, you're talking to stations a lot farther away than just on your local FM repeater on single sideband. It's a very fun net. I, I've done it before in the past, but it's been a long time. I'm looking forward to getting back into it. But this radio will allow you to transmit two meter single sideband and 70 centimeter single sideband, as well as six six meters in HF, and it'll do all that as well. Plus, it's got a really nice display on the front. It's got a built-in sound card, so you can do uh, FT8 in digital modes, and it's got Yezu System Fusion, so you can work your System Fusion repeaters on VHF, uh, UHF. Um, sometimes on HF, you can do uh, Simplex, uh, System Fusion to System Fusion on HF. They do that with D-Star. You can do that with System Fusion on this radio. So it gives you a much more all-encompassing package in this 991A for just over $1,100. The next one I'm going to talk about today is the Kenwood TS590SG, HF plus 6 meters, 100 watts, full DSP. Uh, at the time of this recording at mtcradio.com, main training company, it sells for $1,249.95. Now, the great thing about Kenwood that I've said for a long time, I said in my last video, I said in several other videos I recorded, they make a radio and they stick with it for a long time. So this is older technology, yes. It doesn't include VHF, UHF. It doesn't include any digital modes. But it is tried and true. And these things are almost bulletproof. The reason they, the reason Kenwood makes a radio and then sticks with it so long is because they're so popular. They keep selling. They are used by a lot of people, and they're enjoyed by a lot of people. They work well. They last a long time. You don't have to ha fool with a bunch of uh, returns or, or um, recalls or anything like that. Uh, there's no waterfall, no display, no fancy screen on this one. It's just a solid, solid HF rig that has a great receiver and a great sound to it, and it's been made since 2010. If you scroll down right here, it says, the TS590S was introduced to the HF amateur radio market in October of 2010 and enjoyed a good reputation for its high reception, high performance, and reasonable pricing. So at the time when this came out, that was an excellent price for a full power HF rig that d with a full DSP like it does. So it does a fantastic job. It's still in production today. Not sure how much longer that will be true, but it's still true today. And if you like the Kenwood sound, you like the Kenwood style, this might be a radio for you at only about $1,250. The next one we'll talk about today is another Yezu. It is the FTDX 3000 Delta. Sells for $1,639 over at Gigaparts at the time of this recording. It's got a little bit bigger display in it. It's got a little bit better receiver, according to the Sherwood reports. And it's got some extra features to it as well. 160 through 6 meters on single sideband CW, FM, AM, and digital. I think by digital, they're talking about uh, digital HF modes. In other words, it has a built-in sound card. You can plug a computer directly into it and run WSJTX or some other kind of software like maybe FL Digi. And you can do, um, with WSJTX, you can do modes like FT8, JC65, et cetera, et cetera. You can do PSK31, I think it is, and RIDI on FL Digi. And you don't have to have some kind of interface cable in between the radio the radio itself and the computer like you do on some older models. For the Kenwood we just talked about, it doesn't have a built-in sound card, so you have to interface it with something like a like a um <clears throat> 
something like a rig blaster or MFJ makes a couple of sound card interface devices. And you can, you can definitely get digital modes to work on those radios, but it takes extra hardware and a little bit extra expense. This one has it all built in various easy connections available for RIDI, a, a slow scan TV, PSK 31, JT and other digital modes right there. hundred Watts of solid performance antenna tuner included. So it's got a built in antenna tuner, famous Yezu main tuning knob, a heavy weighted balance brass core knob is used to give the famous Yezu smooth flywheel operating feel to the FTDX 3000 main dial knob. Each user may set his or her favorite torque feeling of the main dial rotation. That's a lot. That's important to a lot of people. A lot of guys really like the, the touch and feel of, a, of buttons and knobs on the front of a radio which is why they won't use an SDR radio. So, you know, it's, you know what, to each his own. If you're on the air and making contacts, I say use whatever makes you happy. So you can read about some more other stuff right here. Uh, as I said, at the time of this report, recording, this radio is selling for $16.39 over at Gigaparts. Links to this radio and all of the radios will be in the description below. You can go to, uh, check out links to them all. And as I've said in previous videos in the past, prices fluctuate. Okay, so don't take all of the prices I'm talking about today as face value for the next two years, okay? Check prices, check your different websites, check the websites that you like to shop at and see what the prices are at that time. Icom, uh, Icom Yezu, Kenwood, all these guys run different coupons themselves and different rebates themselves every week, every, every month, I should say, not every week, but every month. And they filter those coupons down to all the retailers. So check and see what is applicable to you today. Hey guys, if you're finding value in this video, if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up button and click on subscribe below. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it uh, helps put this video in front of other people who might want to see something about ham radio. All right, let's get back to it. So the la the fifth and last radio I'm going to talk about today is really, this one's really my favorite. This is the Flex Radio 6400 okay now the great thing about flex radio is i've said that i own this radio myself this is my main go-to radio at the time of this recording it uh it is a full sdr radio it doesn't have any screen or buttons or knobs or anything like that on the front of it it has dual antenna ports so you can connect up two different antennas it has a third antenna port for a receive only antenna and it has a port on the back for a transverter so you can purchase or build your own transverter and transvert um, like the 10 meter band. You can transvert it to say two meter single sideband, 220 sideband, 440 sideband. I've actually got a 220 transverter that I'm working on building. I'm going to add it to the back of my flex radio. And we're going to do some 220 sideband contacts. Maybe we'll talk to like the three people out there who actually are on 220 sideband in the world. But the Flex Radio 6400 is awesome because it, it, it puts the Flex Radio SDR brand down under the $2,000 mark. It is $1,999, so it is right at $2,000. If you don't live in the state of Texas, I'm not sure if they charge sales tax or not. The cool, another cool thing about Flex Radio is they sell direct to the public. You don't go through a retailer like Gigaparts or Main Training Company or RNL to buy Flex Radio or Elecraft. Both of these guys manufacture their own radios right here in the USA, and then they sell to the public directly. So when you need support, you don't call Main Training Company for support or RNL Electronics for support. You call Flex Radio and you talk to somebody at Flex Radio for support on Flex Radio. They're very helpful. They're very knowledgeable. And the great thing about fle all Flex radios, okay, is that the Smart SDR software for Windows is free. You can download and install the Smart SDR software, which is the software that powers this radio and all of their 6000 series lines. At the time of this recording, they have the 6400, the 6600, and the 6700. Previously, that are no longer in production, but still work with the same firmware models or firmware versions and software versions is the Flex 6300 and 6500. So everything within the 6000 series range works through the Smart SDR software for Windows, which is free. So you can purchase the Flex radio for your club, set it up at your club EOC with whatever antennas you might have there, and then have your, your club members go download and install the Flex radio software on their home computers for free and connect to the Flex Radio at your EOC and remote into and, and work HF remotely from their home QTH or from their mobile station or from wherever they are. So the Smart SDR software is very uh, versatile. 
uh, for win the, the Windows version. They have a Mac version and they have an iPad version, an iOS version for iPad that are made by a third party. And you do have to pay for those. They work the same way, but you do have to pay for those. But that money doesn't go to Flex Radio. That money goes to the developer of those specific applications. But the Windows version, the Windows version of Smart SDR is free. So really, you can take this radio and work it on from two or three different people. You can do SO2R with it. Since it has two antennas, it also has two what are called slices. So two people can be on the radio at the same time listening to two different bands. You can only transmit in one at a time, but the radio is smart enough to let you know when the other st station is transmitting so that sta two stations don't transmit at the same time together and foul up the radio. It doesn't allow you to do that. So you can be listening to 20 meters on phone while your buddy over there is doing 40 meter FT8. FT8 is kind of weird because the the timing of it is weird. It's a little bit harder to do FD8. But if you you both want to do, one of you want to do 20 meter phone and 40 meter phone on two different antennas, both connected to the same radio at the same time, you could do it. We did that in Costa Rica. It was really fun and it works really well. Flexradio.com is where you can find this. The 6400 starts at $19.99. So it's the top of the price list today. And then of course you can add other things to it. It has an internal tuner you can add for about $300. It has a Maestro that you can add for about $11.99. And the Maestro is a standalone unit that is the screen and the knobs and the buttons that will auto connect to any other radio on the network, or you can use a smart link to connect to radios over the internet as well. And then you can use your maestro to connect to your radio at home and then disconnect from there and connect to your buddy's radio across the, across the city or across the state. And it's very versatile and offers you a lot of different options for remote work, local work, and uh, SDR, software defined radio. One of the top brands in the game today, in my opinion, and uh, you won't be disappointed with Flex Radio. So if you have something that you think I maybe should have included, put a comment below. Let me know what that might be. And check out these videos over here. We will catch you next time. Whee! I'm dizzy. <laughs>